guys it's still with Joss and welcome back to the channel don't you guys just love like when you buy a new kit a new pack like expansion pack or game pack or stuff pack this screen pops up so it says welcome to the sims for cottage living um, raise or befriend animals Chickens and cows can provide sims with eggs and milk. Llamas provide wool for crafts, just don't get spit on. Wild birds share their sweet songs and rabbits will freely roam. But keep an eye out for the mischievous foxes. Um, you can live off the land, weather sims, grow their own produce, forage in the wild, or visit the village market. Fresh is best. Up for the challenge, try growing oversized crops to enter into the competition at the Fenwick Fair. Embrace the countryside. Hanford on Batley is nestled in the cozy countryside where everyone knows everyone. Pack for a lovely picnic or lose yourself in a cross-stitch session. Get to know the locals at the Gnome's Arms Pub and learn about the town from your neighbors. Enjoy the simple living. Benefit from higher quality food while using the new Simple Living Lot Challenge. This new lot challenge will require your Sims to cook with fresh ingredients for each meal. Will your Sims be up for the challenge? Guys, right, just look at these llama. Look at the llama. Look at the cow. Look at them milking it. Look at these oversized crops. This food looks absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. New hairstyles. I especially love this hairstyle. You get to cook together. Look at the little rabbit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so ready to dive in. Oh, these cottages, little chicken coops, picnic basket. Okay. All right. So, I no, I can't. We got to dive in. So, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my new LP, okay? Uh cottage living. So, I have been wanting to do an LP for the new expansion pack, Cottage Living, since it came out. Like, it came out, what, July? And here it is, December? Like, I'm so sorry for this, you know, long-awaited LP. Of course, I was doing the Dream Home Decorator, and I don't, I mean, I don't mean to drag out my LPs, but you want to get, you know, you want to get in, in in sync with your sims you want to feel connected and so that's why a lot of my lps are a little bit longer um because i want to you know i want you guys and i also want to feel connected to the sims because i don't want to be playing without purpose and so um i've it's, it's here it's here so let's just let me just not ramble no more let's just get into it so um you guys are probably wondering well you know we just had a video on Ashlyn Barone. Like, are, you, are we going to see her again? Yes, you're going to see her again. She is the main, main, main point of view of this Cottage Living LP. So, um, before I dive into why she is. So, she, um, of course, there's uh, three different neighborhoods in Hanford on Bagley. There's the Bramblewood. There's the Old New Hanford. And then there's Finchwick. And so, uh, Ashlyn, she is staying in Finchwick next to the town square. Um, so I'm just going to read this little insert of what it is. Nestled along the river Bagley, the old mill village of Finchwick prides itself on its bustling and close-knit community. Its historic square features a pub and quaint squawk, quaint squaws, Lord have mercy, quaint stalls amid a flowering garden perfect for a little window shopping tourists and locals alike flock to the weekly village fair which finch wicks or not which where finch wicks mayor makes a special appearance to judge entries and gossip about the latest happenings so um she's here in finch Wick, so let's just you know let's just go ahead and dive in there oh, there are some updates y'all oh wow are you serious <laughs> okay so oh wow that's that's crazy um all right so but okay who is Bo? she ashlyn uh adopted a beagle dog named Bo. 
Um, so here it is. Bo aged up. Bo has grown from a puppy to an adult dog. He can now swim, climb stairs, go for walks, and start learning tricks. If not neutered, he can mate with other dogs. Hooray for Bo. So, all right. So we got that taken care of. Um, it's Monday. Let me just pause or let me just slow the clock down. So she lives here. In this nice little cottage built by me. I didn't record it sadly because I wasn't that confident in it. But it did come out pretty pretty good. Um, so th yes this was built by me. It is on the gallery at Joss 99. So that's J-O-C-E 99. So you guys can download it. Um, I made it of course one bedroom um, because it is just her. I made it just for her. Um, so of course we have... Oh my gosh, we have the chicken coops out here. We have good old, uh, mm, can you guess? Does she have a llama or a cow? She has a cow. <laughs> just, just FYI. And I'm thinking of Hintford on Batley completely remote. So there's no wash and dryer. Your girl does her laundry in this wash bin and she hangs and dries them. She made her own little, um, grill, you know? Um, let me just put it up for some. You know, so y'all can see what the back is looking like. Not a whole bit backyard. Like I said, it's just her. She does have a good old pond back here. You know, her firewood for her fireplace. Some garden tools. And look at the little rabbit. Oh my gosh, there's a rabbit out here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, he is so adorable. So I did put a, um, let me put these walls down um I did put like a little rabbit hole right here so she does have a lot of ra wild rabbits on her property um and I did use a mixture of um ooh, what it is like the country kitchen kit or something like that and um of course uh cottage living as well so um yeah this is and look at her little doctor corner she has like a little doctor corner here so yes she still is a doctor so Remember, she had to get a promotion, and that promotion had required her to move. So she is now a surgeon. She had to move out here temporarily um, because this this town, you know, they're rural. They're out in the middle of nowhere, and they had they needed a doctor. So she temporarily moved out here um, until they can fill that void of their old doctor. Um, who sadly passed away. Oh my gosh, her dog is dirty. It's Monday. She does have work at 9 a.m. She works in nine hours. So let's go ahead and fill and call Bo to eat. And yeah, it's just nice and nice and small just for her. And when I think of like old cabins or cottages, they have like a open, like a big open like kitchen and living room like they're not separated so that's why I tried to incorporate here um she does have her uh degrees and her graduation photo and her like little tiny hallway that's right here um and then she has her room which is like you know yellow theme it's real cozy like oh my gosh it's real cozy um in some some of her clothes or whatnot in her in her walk-in closet and so a lot of the stuff that she had in the apartment it couldn't be shipped over because it was just too far to a rule of an area to ship stuff to and so she had to you know go small with some stuff go you know like the couch really wouldn't been her you know choice she has a smaller tv than what she had so she's had to take you know um quite some quite getting used to did she feed him okay let's wash him um or should I lecture him about barking like no barking though no barking um uh and then let's do some oh where is the okay I was about to say where is give a bath I don't see it um so yeah, so that's her little kitchen and her little bar, like, you know, island area. She has her little coffee area over here. Um, she got some plants and again, her little doctor area. Uh, oh, look at the chickens. Her chickens are out. Yes, she just collected eggs from them um, the other day. She has to come, she has to wake and call um, Betsy over because... She hasn't been out in a while, and I'm kind of worried. So, she's probably going to milk her before um, she goes to work. She, and like I said, she still does work. She works uh, four days a week, nine to seven. 
um, in the local, you know, the local little hospital that Hempford on Batley offers to their um, Sims. And so, yeah, she's here. She has made it to the countryside. Like, oh my God. Um, got like a little bird, uh, bird theater and like a bird bath out here as well. So she's just living it up. And um, to also update you guys, she is engaged. So it says, um, Ashlyn is engaged to be wed now. Great news. But then again, it's not a lot of commitment when she's so used to being single. So she had the single, single and loving it lifestyle. She is about to lose it because Nelson, Nelson proposed to her before she left. He wanted her to know that he's serious about her no matter how far she might be he knows it's only temporary and that you know she's gonna move back to the city they're gonna live happily ever after blah 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 and so she, he proposed and of course having having the heart that Ashlyn has she said yes like she loves she knows she loves him she knows that you know they have so many memories together he was there for her when her parents passed away and yes I said parents because after that other episode literally Garrison, sweet, sweet Garrison passed away as well. So she has lost both of her parents. Um, it's literally only her and Bryson um, at this point. And then, of course, Bryson has his wife. I always forget her name, Angela. Angela. Um, and then they have her niece, their niece. I mean, their daughter, which is her niece, Stacy, or whatnot. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, she's always used to being alone um, and spending time with just her niece. But she loves Nelson. She just doesn't know where or, you know, what the future might hold. She really does love it out here. Even though it's something different, um, she does love being out here. Oh, there's another moo, moo cow bunny. Y'all, I oh, Bo is an active dog. Oh, my God. She's dirty. Okay, she, she's derving. She's derving. Lord, I cannot talk today. She's unhappy. Let's feed Betsy. She's how she's starving. Unhappy, starving. Attention is okay. Um, okay, so let's try to socialize with her. Pet Betsy. She's a pet. Uh, Betsy is now under. Okay, so Betsy is now under the effects of a friendly treat. This will increase the relationship between cows and Sims. The way, the way to a cow's heart through a delicious treat. Awesome. All right. And so we're just going to socialize with her. She she can, she's like the, the animal whisperer, you know, like Dr. Doolittle. She can, she has that capability of, um, you know, aww, of talking to animals. So we're going to clean her up before we go to work. Clean her. And then, I, is there more food? Yeah, the the chickens are eaten, so they're they're happy, very happy, awesome. Uh, or wait, is that very clean or very happy? Um, happiness, very happy. Okay, uh, happiness is fine. Happiness is fine. So let's just give them friendly treats. Check in on Chicken's Day, and then we're gonna milk her real quick like um and then she's gonna head off to work but let me see oh uh, look at Bo he's in there uh trying to chase his tail lord have mercy he be barking at the uh at the bunnies too oh my gosh look at all these emoticons okay so it says insightful conversation from animal enthusiasts trait animals are the best listeners um Animal bonding from animal enthusiast traits. Spending time with any animal really cheers up Ashlyn. Warm fuzzies from hugging a cow with animal enthusiast trait. Nadine Bermudez. Quick question. Bryson, Bar Bryson Barone and I planning, we're planning to spend some time together. Should you do it? No, you should not do it because he's married. And I'm going to call my brother and ask him what, what is wrong with you. Like, why are you spending time with this other chick? Um, but yeah, she's just, all oh, Buttercup is now, oh, Buttercup. I named some of the, uh, 
Oh my gosh. I named some of the um cows root oh not cow lord chickens, roosters, and hens. So some of them have names, some of them do not. And she look at her oh, she's gonna be late for work. I'm gonna send her along. Um, just so look. Oh, Ashlyn got the following from Betsy. Six bottles of milk. Look at her going to work. Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, so she's just going to work in the town center. Uh, or the town's hospital that they have. That's why she had to move in uh, this little center area house here. Um, but I just wanted to update you guys on what was going on. The new LP. I'm sorry if this is like such a short episode. We're just going to dive a little bit more into cottage living in the next one. Um, there are some things that, you know, that might pop up. Um, that I really want to get on camera. Look, look they're bunnies in her house oh my gosh look at the bunny oh but yeah so um like i said she's at work right now she doesn't get off until seven so we're just not gonna wait, wait around for her to get off but um yeah like i said i just want to update you guys let you know what was going on and to welcome you to a new lp i'm so excited i don't know if you can hear it in my voice but i'm super excited a deadline looms Ashlyn has a major deadline approaching and needs to find a way to knock it out. What should she do? Hmm. She should ask for help. That's what Ashlyn. Uh, Ashlyn's asked around for help, but all her coworkers are behind on the homework. Ashlyn's to issues to her boss who appreciates it up and pushes back the schedule. Awesome. All right. So I am going to kick it out of here. Uh, I think she just got some bills. Or maybe a present or something. It doesn't look like a bill. But yeah. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. So much is going on. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode of Cottage Living. And yeah. She she did get bills. Ooh, 1000 Oh my God.